guys, whatever is up. So today let's talk about Hwasa singing N word resurfacing again. Jiaidos Mion allegedly mourning friends passing, Luhan getting married, and Jungkook's head seller facing charges. So let's quickly dive into the video to see what the hell is going on. Starting off with Hwasa trending on TikTok for singing the N word. If you guys don't know, Hwasa was called out for singing the N word after the release of her cover of Beyonce songs Irreplaceable six years ago. Many K-pop fans have pointed out that the original version of the song doesn't have the N-word in the place where Hwasa used the N-word is the word baby. Hwasa's fans, however, explained later that Hwasa sang the explicit version of the song that has the N-word in it. Now, recently, many cable fans have been using the audio of Hwasa's cover on TikTok calling her out for saying the N-word once again, with some being surprised as they didn't even know about it. When searching Hwasa, first thing that's popping out is Hwasa N-word, Hwasa Beyonce, and so on. This is what the fans had to say. I swiped once on TikTok just to see a big account hating on Hwasa for saying the n-word in her Beyonce cover song in 2022. It has been six years y'all. This is Hwasa? Why does this always resurface? And y'all, this was from seven years ago and when she redid it, she knew the correct lyrics after the radio show gave her the wrong ones and fixed her mistake. But let me guys know what do you think about it. Moving on, according to Chinese media, former EXO member Lu Han and his girlfriend have registered their marriage after dating for five years. Even though they got married now, the wedding ceremony is expected to happen next year. Chinese media have also reported that his girlfriend's father wanted his daughter to get married at 25 years old and she just turned 25 this September. Now, it has been reported that G.I. Jasmine have paid her respects at the Joint Memorial Center in Yongsan District. One of the victims was a woman in her 20s known to have been running a flower shop after leaving her job as a K-pop stylist. Because of her previous job, many netizens have projected that she have been close with many K-pop idols, so netizens are now convinced that Mion was one of her close friends. One of the passers-by shared her face was covered with the mask, but anybody could tell that it was Mion. Others have also noted that Mion left flowers at the memorial center and was visible crying. Netizens who believed it was Mion supported her for her kindness and efforts to visit the memorial center despite her busy schedule. Moving on, it was reported two weeks ago that alleged employee of Ministry of Foreign Affairs have sold a hat that allegedly belonged to BTS Jungkook for over $7,000. The police got involved and have confirmed that the person who sold the hat is facing charges. Hyper Entertainment has confirmed that Jungkook lost his had in the waiting room of the passport department at the Foreign Affairs Ministry. The person who tried to sell the hat online deleted the post and have turned himself to the police. They have charged the employee with embezzlement and are looking if they should charge him with, with occupational embezzlement instead. So that is it for today. Let me guys know what do you feel down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the on. So that is it for today. Bye!